What's poppin' everybody? Saber Wolf 94, and this is another topic that Jim Sterling kind of tackled, but, you know, it's something that, if you were clever, you should have seen coming, if you ask me. So, the Nintendo Switch, so, people are complaining, some people anyway, that it's getting a lot of ports, a lot of uh, games that were on the PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, a lot of games that, you know, were on the Wii U, and what have you. And I want to talk about about the Wii U side of things because you know the PlayStation, the Xbox 360 games, and all those other like ports like uh, the World Ends with You and kind of I, I don't really care about that stuff. A lot of those some a lot of those games are clever moves like uh, Jim Sterling said. But I want to talk about some of the Wii U like exclusives. Well, they used to be exclusives. So this is the thing, guys. Before I got my PlayStation 4. I was in a situation where I really wanted the Wii U just because it had a lot of games that I really wanted to play like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and uh, Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze I like some of the top games I can think of uh, I guess the Zelda, maybe I'm not a Zelda guy but uh, it was like my shit to give it a chance the only Zelda game I ever played was the Mimish Cap and that was like I borrowed it from a friend, and it was a pretty cool game, not gonna lie. But you know, it was kind of like one of those games that it makes sense if you're gonna get the Wii U, you're gonna get the Zelda game, right? Yeah. But there was a couple of games like that, and I was really just going through. Man, the Wii U just has a Pokémon, of course, Pokémon. Hell yeah, that was a big reason. So it was like, okay, the Wii U has a lot of games that I want, but the PlayStation 4 has. Bloodborne and King of Fighters 14. Those were like the games that I wanted. And maybe some games like Darksiders 2 and Darksiders, uh, the sort of remastered versions. But, you know, that was the situation. But all the bullshit with the Nintendo Wii U, like not even being underpowered, I don't really care that much about that. But the whole thing with the controllers and all the stuff that made, made things complicated. I'm researching, okay, this controller is going to work with this, but it's not going to work with some of the virtual games and all that stuff. And a lot of eShop virtual games I wanted on the Wii U too. So this is why I was like, man, just we, the Wii U just has so many more games. But the simplicity of the PlayStation 4 and the beauty of that controller that I knew this was going to be like the most comfortable, best controller like ever, in the end won, pretty much. I mean... Bloodborne and King of Fighters played a big role to it, but I thought, okay, I'm going to get the PlayStation 4, and maybe I'll get the Wii U. Or actually, the reason why I thought about that is because I had this thought on my mind that it actually came true, that people should have thought about too, I feel like. I'm thinking, okay, the Wii U sold like bullshit. It didn't sell like shit. But it's a shame because it has all these amazing exclusive Nintendo games like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and Donkey Kong. Tropical Freeze, and Super Smash, Super Smash Brothers, and what have you. I just thought, man, if Nintendo is going to come out eventually with a new console or something, there is no way in hell they're going to be stupid enough not to port those games, or it just makes perfect sense for them to put those games, because there's, there were such great games that kind of didn't live up to the potential. Like, I'm sure, like, it took a lot of work and effort to make such good games, and they just didn't perform as well as the Nintendo would like, and as anyone would like, pretty much, because the Wii U wasn't selling shit. So it's kind of like a no-brainer. Like you create something, and you know, you do the same thing if you were in their shoes. I feel like that's what I'm trying to say. I just knew deep down that okay, if Nintendo is going to come out with the next console when they do come out, they're probably going to port over the games like that. I mean, they have to. They'd be stupid not to, to, you know, make sure to get get these games to people and, and show them these games and expose them to people. That's the point. Like, if the next console, they do things right and it sells, you know, you want to show them, hey, you know, these games are awesome. They were on the Wii U, but they're, they're still awesome. You should play them on the Switch. You know, they look great. They play great. So that was kind of what I was thinking. So I'm thinking, okay, maybe the Wii U, if I don't get it, you know, I'll get, I'll be able to get this shit on the next console, okay? And that's what I was like betting on, and it came true. And you guys shouldn't be surprised. Like, uh, maybe some of you that have the Wii U, you might be like, okay, yeah, you don't really care because you already have 
and you already played this shit on the Wii U. But if you didn't, and you know there are these kind of games that are coming, like I'm so glad Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze is coming, and what have you, on the Nintendo Switch, you should be like happy. You know these were quality first-party games that Nintendo Switch is getting, uh, that pretty much didn't see the light of day on the Wii U. And also, you know, if you did kind of play them on the Wii U, hey, maybe it's time to, you know, see how they're going to be on the go. Like uh, playing them handheld in bed and shit. That sort of comfortability is very important too, you have to admit. So, not only is it not stupid and bad Nintendo is doing it, it's the right thing to do, it's the clever thing to do. And I'm actually glad they're doing it. And I'm sure a lot of people are going to feel the same way. This is actually a good thing, not a bad thing. Now, shitty ports, yeah, you don't want those. But most of them, like 95% of them, are just good choices or even fantastic choices. Uh, the first party games, like uh, Donkey Kong, it's the only game that I really care about. Uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and, uh, you know, Super Smash Bros. Zelda. You know, these sort of quality first party games. It just is perfect for them to come on the Nintendo Switch. There's no other way I can say it. You know, people should be happy they have that chance and flexibility to try them if they didn't. But yeah, uh, this is my thoughts on that. You know, a, a, a lot of other games like the Dark Souls shit, Remaster and what have you, those are all excellent choices as well. Some of the DS shit as well. I know that The World Ends With You is a famous game that people kind of like. I never played it. But I heard it's pretty good. Like the story in that is pretty good. Uh, for me, I really just want them to go all out on the on the fucking eShop virtual console shit, whatever you call it. Man, if they just, I want them to fucking bring uh, Pokemon Colosseum. If they bring that, then it's perfect. I never got to play that game, and I al always wanted to. There's actually a great story why I didn't get to play it. I never got a GameCube, but. Uh, yeah, I've always wanted to play it. I still want to. It's probably pretty obsolete by now, so that kind of sucks. But I still want to play it. And yeah, uh, that's one of the, the bigger ones that I want them to come out on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, other games, like maybe some of the Castlevania games they brought to the Nintendo, to the Wii U. Bring them over there too. Like maybe some of the, like maybe Order of Ecclesia, I don't know, like some of the DS ones. It would be great. Uh, I don't think they're going to do that. Uh, Konami plays a role too in that, but yeah, uh, you should have seen it coming if you were clever uh, that they were going to do this. I mean, it makes sense or just see coming that there's a good chance it's going to happen if Nintendo uh, is clever. Because let me tell you, if the Nintendo Switch came out and they didn't port over these games, uh, Donkey Kong, Super Smash Bros., Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and uh, you know, Pokemon and shit... That actually would be a pretty big waste. You know, it'd be a, a waste of those games. So, yeah. It would be like the Dreamcast having some good exclusive games that just never went to a different console besides the Dreamcast. Uh, that's kind of a shame. Since the Dreamcast also sold like shit. Even though it was a great console. So, yeah. These sort of ports are great. I hope they keep coming. Of course, you want... You know, new games too. But Nintendo has delivered with that as well. And I'm pretty sure they're going to keep delivering. As far as I understand. We still haven't gotten our core Pokemon game. I'm sure when that shit comes out. Uh, people are going to get pretty hyped too. Probably a lot of sales are going to be generated in that too. I mean, pretty much Nintendo has a sale guarantee for me anyway. Because if the core Pokemon game comes out. You know, you, you're going to get it. You're going to fucking have to get a Nintendo Switch. So even if there was nothing out, just by that, they kind of have like a win. So, yeah, it really is the way to go. They were clever and they did the right thing, making that like a portable console too, and everything they've done. And they're doing okay so far. They're doing very well, actually, not just okay. I hope they'll keep doing that. I do think that the hardware limitations, uh, they might start catching up on the Switch. They won't be able to get games like Doom and shit all the time there, and they're going to be probably not that good, but who knows, maybe in a couple of years, they're going to come up with the Nintendo Switch Pro or something, or a more powered up Nintendo Switch. 
uh, that that'd be good. So yeah, I don't want to tell you guys to just wait and not buy a Nintendo Switch, but for me, I still haven't gotten one. Maybe that it's gonna turn out better for someone like me if they come out with that and then I just buy the Super Nintendo Switch version, whatever, uh, Super Nintendo Switch console. But anyways, guys, I'm really happy about the ports. I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from. And uh, yeah, let's enjoy Nintendo Switch shit. I gotta get the console and shit. Yeah, what's up? Uh, Saber 94 and what's up?